Hi everyone, um, so this video today is going to be about crocheting dreadlocks um, and my experience with that. Um, these, my dreads are just over a year old. I think they were a year old in August and it is now October. So yeah, just over a year old. Um, they are reasonably mature, um, but because they are quite thin, um, I think they have got a little way to go still. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of my experience with crocheting. Now, the crochet hook I use is this one. It is a 0.75 mil. Um, it's very thin, it's very small. You can see. Um, for me, this is the size that works best. It works best with my hair texture. Um, everybody's hair texture is different, so you've got to kind of experiment with what you feel works best. If you use one that's big, like if you use maybe like a mil, like a one millimeter one, it would be big. And if you imagine then, every time you're pushing it through the dreadlock, you're pulling quite a lot of hair back through it. So kind of, I feel the thinner, the better, even though it is more work to get all the loose hairs into the dreadlock, um, you will, you won't, it'll look nicer because there won't be so many entry points, if you know what I mean. There won't be so many, it, the, the hair won't be getting pulled into the dreadlock in big pieces. It will be more little pieces, which is more pleasing. Um, when you're crocheting your dreadlocks, you really don't want to do it very often. Um, every few months at the most um i try and leave mine completely alone um i know because i had a first set of dreadlocks when i was in my 20s and i was absolutely fucking obsessed with crocheting them because i wanted them to be really really neat all the time um and tidy i always had like a halo of fluff on the top of my head that i was utterly obsessed with um and really the best answer is to just leave them alone leave them the fuck alone and they will just sort themselves out um, um i think and my top bit of advice is you want to leave your roots um alone i go and see um a loctician who sorts my roots out for me like twice a year um and that's as much as you need to do i think so yeah you really don't want to crochet them very often like maybe every couple of months three months, four months, like as little as possible. But if you do find that you have a dread that's doing something weird, and I'm trying to find one for you, because all of mine are kind of tidy. I just kind of leave them alone. I do very, very, very little maintenance now. I just leave them. For a while I had dreadlock extensions, which um, I have made a video about. Um, if you want to go back and watch that, watch my experience with them. Um, I mean, obviously now you can see I've taken all my dreadlock extensions out and now the hair that I have is my own hair so I'm just trying to find a dread that's got a bit on it that I think I can film and show you oh here's one that'll do right so what you want to do this is how I do it so you can see can you see there's like fluffy stuff there so I will take my crochet hook punch it gently through the dreadlock. Now you don't want to feel like you're breaking any hairs or anything, you just want to push it gently through, like let it find its way through. And then you, I wind any loose hair around the tip of the crochet hook and pull it back through. So now all the fluffy hairs on the other side. And then you just kind of go backwards and forwards, doing that ever so gently. You don't want to hear, like you can hear, you can feel if any of the hairs are breaking. Um, you don't want to do that. You want to just kind of leave them alone. Then there you go. All those loose hairs are kind of sucked in. And really, to be honest, that's as much as I'll do. I'll just kind of leave it alone at that point because you've got to let them just kind of find their own way. Some Sometimes they'll go fluffy um, and then sometimes they'll kind of tighten up again. Um, it's just kind of in the nature of dreadlocks and, you know, in the nature of my hair type, um, what my hair's like. My hair is kind of somewhere between curly and straight. <laughs> it's kind of wavy and fluffy. Like when I had just hair, it, um, I always said it was like pink smoke because it was just like fluffy, weird, doing its thing. Um, so I'm quite lucky that my hair dreads quite easily. I think if you had straighter hair, then maybe you'd have more loose hairs. Um, so anyway, that's my video about crocheting. I hope it's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess to summarise, 
crochet your dreadlocks if you feel you really must leave your roots alone um, and do it as infrequently as possible because you can make them too tight and you won't see the damage that you've done for two or three years and by then you will be so annoyed with yourself for doing it so just leave them to be fluffy i think it works out better in the long run um i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye